going on, everybody? It's Richard Koberger, the Book Nerd, the QuickBooks 2.0 Web Connector. You might have heard about it, and in this video, we're going to be talking about what it is, what the benefits are, and why you need it. And I want to point out that the contents of this video are only relevant to QuickBooks desktop users. So if you are on QuickBooks Online or Intact, you don't need to worry about the contents of this video. So before we jump in here, you might already have the 2.0 Web Connector. If you onboarded to Service Titan anytime after June 1st of 2019, then you've had the 2.0 Web Connector from the get-go. But if you onboarded before that, then you started off with the 1.0 version. If you're not sure which version you have, here's a quick way to check. First, we're gonna log into Service Titan as somebody with accounting permissions, and then click into the accounting screen. On the right-hand side of the screen, do you see this feed of QuickBooks information? It might be collapsed like this into the upper right hand corner, but click and expand that if you see that and you should get this feed. And that feed should be giving you information about batch exports. So which batches were successfully exported, which batches had errors, etc. If you are seeing that feed, then congratulations, you're already on the 2.0 web connector. Dry yourself a bath, have a glass of wine, you're good to go. But if you do not see that feed, then this video is for you. Now the web connector is what connects Service Titan to QuickBooks and allows data to pass from one system to the other and the 2.0 connector is the new and improved version of that. There are two main benefits of the 2.0 connector over the old 1.0 version. The first benefit is that the 2.0 connector is going to help ensure that you have more accurate books. And that is because the 2.0 connector has more guardrails in place to help prevent inaccurate or mismatched information from transferring from Service Titan over to QuickBooks. So the 2.0 connector is going to throw more errors, which as I say out loud, maybe doesn't sound like such a good thing, but I, I promise it is because those errors are there to ensure that you have everything right, all of your ducks are in a row, and that no bad information makes its way over into your financials. Now, the second major benefit of the QuickBooks 2.0 Web Connector is that because of its enhanced capabilities, Service Titan is able to do more with it. And so there are certain features out already and certain features coming out down the pipeline that will require the QuickBooks 2.0 Web Connector in order to work. For example, payment collections. This is how we collect deposits in Service Titan without doing any sort of weird hacky workarounds like we used to have to do. That requires the 2.0 Web Connector in order to work. Inventory, you cannot use inventory in Service Titan without the QuickBooks 2.0 Web Connector. Procure to pay, this is not out yet, but I promise you're gonna want it once it is. That's going to connect vendors to Service Titan. It's also going to sync all of your vendor prices to Service Titan and even automatically map items in your price book to items in your vendor's catalog. That's going to give you a more streamlined purchase ordering experience as well as allow you to manage your bills and statements to pay vendors through the system. And that was a very just high level explanation, but it was talked about during Pantheon. And so there are some video recordings where you can get more detail on that if you're not already aware. But that, procure to pay, that's gonna require the QuickBooks 2.0 web connector. And going forward, as Service Titan continues to improve the product and develop new features, they're going to be doing so assuming everybody has this new 2.0 web connector with more capabilities, which is why it is necessary for everybody to transfer over to this new version. Because the 1.0 version, because the 1.0 version, and look, I don't think he knows yet. It's just between you and me, okay? But the 1.0 version, it, not gonna be around much longer. Now there is some action required on your part to make this transition happen. And that's because it needs to be connected to specifically your QuickBooks file. And so you do need to be involved with that. Now the total transition start to finish, typically it takes about three hours of your time. So yes, it is a time commitment, but it's nothing too major. One thing that's really nice about it is that you can sync as you export. So like, you know when you edit a price book like in an Excel file and then you go to import it into Service Titan, if any little thing isn't correct, it just won't import at all. Yeah, this isn't like that. You'll be able to go ahead and get going right away and then whatever's mismatched, if there's customers, vendors, items that aren't quite syncing up right, it will throw up those errors as you export and then you can just fix them as you go, which will correct them going forward. So depending on how well things are synced up from the get-go, that might mean that exporting takes a little bit longer initially because you're having to sync as you export. But that will get better with time because as you tell the system what goes where, those errors shouldn't pop up again. Now, another thing I wanna point out is that this is a core product upgrade, meaning that there is no extra expense or anything to make this transition. This is an improvement built into the core product of Service Titan. Something else to know is that making this transition will auto-enable the purchasing module for you. 
In the purchasing module, that's the newer way to place purchase orders out of Service Titan. If you've used truck replenishment in the past, this will replace truck replenishment, but it works very similarly. You'll feel very familiar, but it is something to be aware of. You might wanna do some training ahead of time to make sure you're prepared for that. A couple of the main differences with the purchasing module are number one, by default, it's meant to create itemized POs versus like summary POs where there aren't individual line items. It's just one PO and one price that encompasses several items. So if you currently place summary POs and wish to continue placing summary POs, you can still do that with the newer purchasing module, but it will involve some workflow changes. You can even set up the module to auto receive POs if you want to. So you can use it very similarly to how you use it today if that's what you need it to do. Another thing is that non-job purchase orders will no longer be placed from the dispatch board. They'll be placed from that purchasing module. And the purchasing module brings the procurement process into Service Titan even for non-job purchase orders. So you can send, receive, and record bills associated with purchase orders all within Service Titan. That means that with the new purchasing module enabled, you'll be exporting bills to QuickBooks Desktop instead of purchase orders. So if you were previously exporting POs into QuickBooks Desktop, there will also be some workflow changes there in that you no longer will need to convert those POs into bills in QuickBooks. Another little detail that may trip some people up, once you've made this transition, if you go to add a material in your price book, there will be a new field that's a COGS account, a cost of goods sold account. On the 2.0 connector, any material needs both a income account for if you sell that material and a cost of goods sold account for when you purchase that material. And that goes back to what I was saying earlier, this 2.0 web connector does help enforce more accurate bookkeeping. And so since you can now do inventory through Service Titan should you choose to do so, when you're placing purchase orders with materials on them, it needs to know where in QuickBooks that cost of goods sold account is. Now the 2.0 web connector is different than the 1.0 in that it is an application. It's something that actually gets installed on the computer running QuickBooks. Now your QuickBooks file might not be hosted on a computer that's actually like in your office. It might be hosted by a third party like Right Networks or out of the box and that's perfectly okay. The QuickBooks 2.0 web connector can still be installed. Whatever company is hosting your file will have to be involved with it because the file is on their servers, but your CSM can help you with those communications. There is one little gotcha there that's good to be aware of. If your QuickBooks file is hosted on Right Networks, Right Networks requires a certain tier, a certain package that they sell in order to be able to install this application. So if you're not already on that tier, then you will have to upgrade in order to get the QuickBooks 2.0 web connector installed, which is unfortunate, I'm sorry about it. It's not a Service Titan thing that's coming from Right Networks. Another nice thing to note is that Service Titan has a dedicated task force for making these transitions. So in addition to the CSMs, there's also a dedicated team of QuickBooks and accounting specialists there to help along with these transitions. And that's not because this process is particularly difficult or scary. Like I said, on average, it's about three hours of your time. But sometimes during this process, little things will come up, little problems that require some very specific QuickBooks or accounting best practices knowledge that a CSM might not necessarily have. So that's what this team is for. So if you are still on the old 1.0 web connector, here's how to get the ball rolling on making the transition to the 2.0 version. There is a form in the description down below. If you fill that out, it's gonna ask you a few questions just to make sure that we understand how you're set up right now. So it's gonna be asking you questions like, is your QuickBooks server somewhere local in your office or is it hosted by a third party, like by Right Networks or out of the box or something like that. So just fill out that form, answer those questions, and then somebody will be in touch shortly to get you switched over. Please, please, please do this as soon as possible. Like I said, every single Service Titan client that uses QuickBooks Desktop does need to make this transition. And we've made a lot of progress. We've got a lot of clients already switched over to the 2.0 web connector, but if you're still on the 1.0 version, it's definitely something we wanna take care of sooner rather than later. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Remember, link in the description down below to get started with this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate it. Peace.